We're standing outside of Savers. They're gonna open here in about 10 minutes and we're gonna get in there first and we're gonna get some good stuff. Hopefully. Let's go. Morning. Morning. Hey guys, come on in. We're going straight for the lockbox. There's better be some video game stuff. I'll uh, I'll take that. Grab that. Forty-two. Uh, I'll take that Super Monkey Ball as well. Go ahead and hold on to the Soul Calibur for me as well. Yes, please. Uh, this Final Fantasy also. And I think, I think that'll be it. I'm gonna open them up and look at them, is that okay? It's really nice getting here at opening because there's not a million people here. Uh, but I'm checking out the dish section first. Figured that would be the hot commodity. Some corningware. There's nothing amazing on the big war section today. Sometimes they have some killer Pyrex here, but today seems to be a little bit lackluster. Oh, it is Fire King. I couldn't read the bottom of it. It was kind of etched in a weird way. Not really gonna be anything here. We've got a few friends shopping with us today, so it's gonna be exciting to see what they find. What'd you find? Captain, Captain Jack, hell yeah. Is it's it like, mean, yeah, it's I actually. Looked. Yeah, it's all uh, That's cool. And a vintage uh, Cunningham. That's cool. That's oh. not bad. You're pretty lucky to get in here before anyone else finds yeah. it. That's the kind of stuff people are running here and snatch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Andrew, what'd you find? Oh, oh, nice. That's not bad. Half off of 15th. Not that much. There's a bunch of GameCube games up there. I bought. I bought the two more expensive ones, but there's a bunch of like good stuff that I was like, I was gonna buy it, but I already have it all, so I don't need huh? to buy doubles. I'll go run it there. Do you collect GameCube stuff? Yeah, I've been collecting. Do you, do you no. have a GameCube or do you have a Wii? Oh, I have a GameCube. Okay. I have a few right now. I just have like, I've been finding a bunch of like yard sales. Okay. Like over the last year. Well, my collecting app said I had Final Fantasy. I don't remember buying it, but I believe it. I don't have ever played that one. They're tripping me up today. They moved the jeans section. It used to be over there. And then I walked up to it and it was like, it's all mixed together with like pants and denim and, oh, those are skirts. Jeans are over here. Now we're gonna look through it and see if we found anything good. That's caught my eye. Ooh, they are vintage. Ooh. Made in Hong Kong. $5.99, we'll be getting those. I look at so much blue medium wash denim in my life. Anytime I find something that's colored, something different, something with a little pizzazz, I get excited about it. Did you find anything? I found some vintage jeans. Did you well, find anything? Yeah, but we're about to spend some money on some video games. Oh no. Uh, that's pretty nice. So cute. Somebody just tried to race me to the bag for the wall. Oh no. Yeah, they saw me come in the other aisle and just like sprinted and I just, <sighs> Like, didn't acknowledge him and walked right by him. I'd already been there twice, bro. Slow down. Oh. Of course Funko makes t-shirts. I didn't know that. Yeah, Mark found this Howard the Duck shirt. That's cool. Now I need to go Google and see if there's possibly one in the world that fits me. Yes. Big fan of ducks here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a good find. What's this? Bullet Club. Oh, it's Bob Seger. Oh, yeah. 2017, that's awesome. Yeah. Of course Bob Seger's still rocking. He, oh, he'll never die. Anything? What's the craziest thing you got so far? So far today? Yeah. Oh, nice. Bangkok, really? 
Hard Rock Bangkok. That sounds real good together. <laughs> Thought I would peep the lamp section. Um, I'm still looking for a milk glass lamp. I really want one about like this size. Nothing crazy. They do have this beautiful hurricane lamp here though. Complete little middle glass piece. Needs to be rewired, not working, $40, so it won't be coming home with me today, but uh, it is very beautiful. The hand painting on that's very pretty. What does it look like? This uh, induces a little bit of nostalgia for me. I definitely had that when I was a kid. This was brand new. Is it, is it like super expensive new? Yeah, one for $71. Yeah. Uh, it was uh, 20 bids. Wow, they bid it up to $71, but it was like inbox? Yeah, I guess so. That's wild. Okay, time to check out the dolls. Need to see if there's any brass dolls here today. I'm seeing a lot of vintage Barbies going on No though. wait, I was here first. Hey, wait. I was here first. Well, find the brass dolls for me. Oh, Go, There's, there's none, I've already been here, there's none. Oh no, don't tell me that, I'm sad. But I mean, there was a big uh, Barbie dump from someone's collection. A lot of like 80s, 90s looking dolls. That's pretty cool. What you is? into Barbies? Am I into Barbies? Yeah, you, are you into are Barbies. Are you asking me if I'm into Barbies? Yeah. Only if they look like Furby. <laughs> so you're into Furby. So something I don't necessarily collect, but I enjoy having are a bunch of vintage earrings, like 80s, 90s, just wild, crazy, fun, colorful, big earrings. And I'm over in the earring section today. These little pearl ones are pretty. I don't need more earrings, let me just tell you that. But I walked over here because I saw these. I know they're not vintage, but like, they're metal and like, do I need them? They're bananas. Like, I don't. Am I this person? Can I do this? I mean, I guess I can if I do it and nobody complains about it, or if they do complain about it, I'd just be like, they're my earrings. Let me be. I don't know. I don't know about it. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to walk that one off and think about it. So a couple weeks ago at the same savers I bought a really beautiful cat perch for the kitties. They are now acclimated to it and they definitely love it. Mochi loves sleeping in the little bottom for the little like the hidey hole in the house is and pants like sleeping on the top bunk because he likes being up high. They have this thing here and I know it's not for cats, but it could be. Look how cute it is. Hey, could you imagine? Oh, it's so cute. Like I could put a little kitty bed in there and they could just, oh, it's a hundred dollars though. So I don't think we'll be uh, shoving that into our apartment, but oh my goodness could wrap this with cord. It's a little flimsy, so pants might break it really quickly, but it would be a really cute project. All right, before we go, I better hide my thousand year door. That's like my new prized possession. <laughs> I'm not sure if it'll be my most valuable GameCube game or not. It might be, I'll have to look. We'll look that up later. Uh, our friends are meeting us at this Sabres too. This parking lot is nuts. I never even try to park up front because this place is always packed, so. We'll have to go find them and hopefully all get in line together. There will be a line at this one. What do we got? I'm over in the blanket section first. I just uh, saw this little baby out of the corner of my eye. Look how cute that is. It's very big, it's very bright. I'm thinking, you know, it's spring, Easter vibes. Um, it feels like a nice solid cotton, so it probably is a vintage blanket. $6.99 is not bad. Also this here. But I think one of you guys sent me the same blanket. It looks too familiar for me. I probably already own that. <laughs> so we'll leave that one there, but I think I might grab this. Oof. These little hangers have the little, the little blanket hangers with the little sides that don't 
Oh goodness, it's heavy. That's a sturdy blanket. Oh, I'm ready for a nap. This is cozy. There's usually a shuffle back here. <laughs> it's pretty slim though. Nothing at all. Yeah. We got, got to this one too late. Is that literally a chocolate bunny? That's not gross at all. I think it is. There's a few games in here. Nothing really good though. Looking like Linus over here trying to check out the jeans section. Did find some vintage orange tab, white Levi's in a women's cut. I mean, that's pretty darn rare. They want originally $25 for it, so half off 25, so we're looking at about 12 50 or so, which isn't that bad, honestly. Like this would be about $15 at Goodwill, so I feel like it's worth it, especially for this size. That's probably a $100 pair of jeans. They might take a minute to flip, but um, honestly, I think they'll do really well in my antique mall booth. Levi's been, seem to be selling pretty quickly there, so I think we'll go ahead and get them. Oh, it's, a, it's a good day with my Linus blanket and my jeans. I'm finding everything I need. Maybe there's some Brad stalls in the toy section and we'll be having the trifecta. We never get to the savers that open just because of the way things work out. It's easier to get to the other one. So we don't always get quite as good deals here. However, if I work hard enough on this bag toy wall, I usually find something pretty great. So I'm gonna have to spend some time on it. Chihuahua. A little bit of Lego. Ooh. I'll take those for our antique mall. It's about restocking time anyways. Better check this one too. Beyblade ring with Lego. Pretty sure I just sold my last one of these, but even at half off, that's too much for me. Wait, what? No. All Harry Potter. Well, in an Obi Wan, but mostly Harry Potter. Definitely getting that for seven fifty. These bag toys are pretty awesome. A whole bunch of Star Wars, including Darth Vader, and then Green Goblin, and I think there's uh, Dragon Ball Z in there, a couple different Mandalorians, I mean, look at this, some brat stuff, now there's two Bratz babies, which we don't really go out of our way to collect, but I think there's some other accessories in there, including what might be a bag for one of Hannah's favorite dolls, so we definitely need to make sure she sees that. No, no accessories left behind. Mm. So those are Brad's babies in there, but I think the rest of that stuff is like some accessories you need. That may or may not be the bag for that one really nice. Potentially. Yeah. We'll need to look that up. You should probably just get it for the accessories. Okay. Oh, there's a little brats. Oh yeah, well, it's worth there it. There you it's go. Definitely worth it. Did I do good? Do you love me again? Yeah, I'll keep you. Will you let me sleep in your bed tonight? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know about Lenny, you usually fall asleep before me, but I can't pick you out of your sleep. <laughs> Always wanted to say that. Well, I came over here to find some Brat stuff, but it looks like Dale's beat me to the punch. He found hey. the only Brat stuff here. He's proud of himself. <laughs> I did good. She's gonna let me sleep in her bed tonight. <laughs> He's such a weirdo. Now let's see if any of these have Yugi on the cover. They don't, they're all Naruto on the cover. I tend to just keep the ones with Yugi on them. We have a lot of dogs here, a lot of kids. Uh, something like that. <laughs> If you watched a live show last night, you'll know about my vast collection of cat mugs. I don't know. Do I need to add this one to the bunch? She's so cute, her little tail's on the handle. A Persian kitten. Very cute. I mean, I'm gonna refrain. I don't need more mugs. I repeat, I don't need more mugs. Did you guys find anything? Oh, hey. No. Nothing? Nothing. Well, I found a bunch of nonsense. 
bunch of random toys. Like, look at this, look at this spread. There's a bunch of Star Wars, including Darth Vader, Green <laughs> Goblin from the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man movies, and then Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. Damn. Yeah, a couple different Mandalorian. Oh, you guys, how many? Oh, yeah. no, there's a couple. Yeah, there's two of them. Professor Quirrell. Yeah, and then there's a whole, this is awesome. There's a whole bag of Harry Potter figures oh, cool. and Obi-Wan. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I didn't even That's see Dobby. That's sweet. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Straco. Snape. Yeah. Snape is like a foot taller than the rest. <laughs> That's cool. There's uh, two things over here that I'm really debating on getting. One is this art glass jar. I absolutely love these. I think they're so beautiful. But I'm collecting the wildflower pattern. So it's got like poppies and a bunch of little flowers on the front of it. I don't necessarily need the wheat one. But it's 250, so <laughs> going back and forth. But this, I need to know how much it costs. I've been looking for one of these for a while. It's $5.99, $3. I kind of want it. We do a lot of eating dinner on the bed watching TV. So I think. I need that for my crumbs. Yeah, we're gonna get it. What'd you find? Oh my God. So you know how you complain that I leave crumbs all over the bed when I eat? Yeah. I have a TV tray now. Are you sure you wanna tell the whole world you eat in your bed? <laughs> well, I already did, so. <laughs> hey, don't judge. It's she where does. the TV is. She won't, eat anywhere. <laughs> she won't eat anywhere else. Now to her defense, there's a uh, you know 4,000 video games in our living room instead of a table, so. I don't have a couch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we did good. We got a bunch of toys that I'm definitely excited to show off close up to the camera when we get home. Uh, but first, we're gonna go get pizza together. And then before we leave pizza, I'll show you guys what they got. And then we'll go home and look at all that. But uh, stick around. Still got plenty to do today. Pizza, pizza, pizza. You know what? We're not as hungry as we normally are when we go to our favorite pizza joint. I wonder if this might be an opportunity to finally try something else other than the same deep dish. Maybe. I'm actually kind of excited about their thin crust. Yeah, we've never had it. And at this point, we've got to at least try. Also, uh, I might show you these again when we talk to Mark, but Mark rolled up and handed me these. He bought a big lot of stuff and sold a bunch of it. And these were left over, these demo discs. So probably the coolest thing I got today, dude. <laughs> well, I mean, Mario, you know, but. We're hold... excited to tear open those bags of toys. I am too. We'll show those on a close-up camera when we get home and uh, it'll be worth. Do you like my TV tray? Yeah, but I don't think it's going to the bag. Nah. I'm telling you, that's not that tall. Do you think <laughs> you can slide your legs under there? Probably not, but. <laughs> I, I ain't saying you got big legs or nothing. We had like six or seven of those in our house whenever we were kids. We would always bring them into the living room because we weren't supposed to eat in the living room because it had carpet and you spill Kool-Aid on the carpet, you're getting in trouble. But we bring those in, it was allowed. I can see mom <laughs> whipping that hiney for spilling Kool-Aid on the carpet. <laughs> oh, Luminati is my home away from home. I actually had Mark following me here and I did some evasive maneuvers to get to the light to turn in here and I've lost him. I think he... I think he saw it though. <laughs> I did some invasive maneuver shit on that last one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, here, now let's see how, how it works. So that's your, yeah. that's your handbrake. Yeah, we push. And gas. Is it stop for gas and in for brake. Really? And that's just like an add-on attachment. It's yeah, no serious modifications. No, I see how it's actually connected. Wow! Yeah. I always wondered how that stuff yeah, works. It, it just, really is all just bolted on. Yeah, bolted and it kind of bolts to underneath the, I had to take the, uh, uh, the thing all out and everything. Right, well, so does this device work for like a lot of cars? Oh, it'll, like it'll work in anything. You just adjust yeah. it and pull it in and out? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I, I was telling Mark, we need to get him a PlayStation controller yeah. <laughs> for the next time. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <It's> small. <laughs> I, I have a perfect meme for the occasion. That's Pisha. you. <laughs> All right, have you guys had the deep dish here before? Oh yeah. Have you you've never had it? No. All right, well give us a real first honest review. Some people aren't into it. It's acceptable because this isn't the you know this isn't the pizza we've had our whole lives. You like it? 
I, I think I think it's the crust for me. I don't know. Oh, yeah. It's different for everybody, but the yeah. crust on this is like super buttery. Oh yeah. I basically every time we eat here, I just want to rub it on my face. <laughs> yeah. Watch the liquid. Oh, I like the oh. on the pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Buck bag, buck bag. <laughs> I think one time we ate here and someone commented below like you should definitely do some mukbang and I had no idea what that was or what it meant and I googled it and I was like what? I already can't breathe through my nose so when I eat I'm already halfway there. <laughs> Pizza was good, but we're gonna talk about what these guys got real quick before we go. Maybe find of the day, I don't know. I might, I think we're in competition with Paper Mario. Yeah, Paper Mario. Definitely. That's a good find, and then uh, that's not bad either. I almost got this one, but I found out from my collector's app I already have it, but that's not a bad deal either for Connect. No, I've been looking for one for a while. And that's awesome. I feel well, like I see less of them. Thanks for hanging out with us, man. Hey, thank you. It was you. fun. Now, I really wanna know what you got. Oh, okay. You got the Howard the Duck shirt. No, that's oh, his. Oh, it's his too. Are you gonna wear it? Or are oh, we gonna, sure. Yeah. Yeah, Big fan. <laughs> is that for you? Yeah. What the heck is yeah. happening? It's a Beyonce shirt. Is she like blindfolded or what? Oh, she's <laughs> just so like a hat or something. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's like a. I see now. Oh, so it's kind of hard to figure out what's yeah. going on there. I think that's fine of the day, the Howard the Duck right, shirt. I'm pretty stoked on that. Yeah. Are you a fan of the George Lucas oh, Howard Duck sure, movie? Yeah. 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 A big fan as well. That's cool. Well, it was fun, guys. Thanks yeah. for hanging out. So, Andrew ended up getting the yeah, Howard the Duck shirt that you found. That's like, that's almost number one nostalgia find because I love Howard the Duck. But this thing, Hannah, have you ever seen this? I had this oh. as a kid. Oh, did yeah. you? Batman disc player. That's amazing. Or what do you want to fight crime and listen to Beyonce or Britney <laughs> or something? <laughs> yeah, I don't care. Hold on, let's see the back of it real quick. I guess it's for like a belt clip. It almost yeah. looked the size of Sony's batteries. It's even got the, the, bat, logo. the bat logo on it. That's awesome. It's a... Uh, Manufactured June 05. That's crazy. I feel like if you uh, if you come into some crime, you can use that as a battering. Yeah, you can just chuck it in somebody's face. <laughs> you open it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, well, at least we know it works. So there's the battery. Yeah, Let's check see. the battery port. Hey, it's pretty clean. There are batteries, but they're not corroded, so no, that's good. good. That's awesome. And then you got a jersey too, right? Yeah. That's not bad. Vintage. I feel like you were pretty lucky to roll up in the yeah. thrift store and find that because that's the kind of thing that I see people go on a rampage for oh, in yeah. like, Savers. This, I'm not sure what it is. It's made in USA, so. Yeah. I mean, it's definitely worth four bucks. Oh, easily. Yeah. All right, well, it was, it was fun, man. Oh, definitely. Thanks for getting pizza with us. Hell Let's yeah. do it again. Well, I think that thrifting with friends is an absolute blast. A, you get to hang out and chat with people about what they like and what they like to buy and why always a good time for me but b it's always a really really good excuse to go get some food so i think we're gonna probably start picking a day once a month to just tell all our friends hey we're going thrifting and then whichever ones show up it'll be a good time and something that we have look to look forward to every month but uh we showed you everything that they got now let's talk about the stuff that we bought because we bought some things a few things that i think deserve a much much closer look for sure. Harry Potter grab bag? Yeah! <laughs> I might just call this video that, I don't know, but tell me about this blanket, because it's huge. We have a humongous crochet blanket. It's super heavy and uh, very beautiful. It's very well made. Um, the type of cotton it's made of makes me think that it's definitely vintage, so I thought it was a really pretty pickup. Yeah, it's definitely older. It's nice, and it's heavy. It's so heavy, it feels like a security blanket. It does. It's really nice. You also got two pairs of pants. I did. I'm really excited about both of them. This one's probably my, my money maker for the day. This is a pair of white vintage orange tab Levi's that are a pretty small size and women's cut. So these are about $100 That's on nice. their own. There's nothing better than just a pair of jeans. We don't have to do anything to that sell for a hundred bucks on their own. Cause we're pretty much not messing with almost any clothing anymore. That's not upwards of 60 bucks. And we honestly try to make every piece we buy a hundred dollar piece. Cause it's just getting to where we have so much time in clothing where we're really trying to maximize what we're doing and hundred dollar pair of jeans are welcome. For sure. Now these aren't quite as nice, but you couldn't pass them up because they're so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, they're very different. I love the pattern on them and they are vintage. So uh, I thought they would be a little bit more fun and funky. Yeah. I'm tired of the, the typical blue denim throwing some floral print, yeah. I guess. They're, they're very different. All right, the last thing you got 
is a, what do you call this? It's a TV tray. A TV tray. It's a vintage TV tray. Um, we had these when I was growing up. They're just very handy whenever you want to sit on a comfy surface and eat. <laughs> I guess I could appreciate the idea. I just need one that's bigger if I'm gonna if I'm gonna partake. But... We'll probably have to make you a custom one. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably just have to use this whole table. Lol. It's, it's about the right size. Okay, so anything Toy Story I buy to put in our antique mall. Well, I wouldn't say anything. There's lots of Toy Story stuff I pass up. But any of the dolls of any size or make, I put them in my antique mall tomorrow. They will sell this weekend. And uh, it's something I go out of my way to buy, more so to make our toy booth more attractive. Like, I wouldn't buy this stuff, or I wouldn't tell you guys to buy it to resell it. It's not, I mean, don't get me wrong, there's definitely some, both some uh, Woodies and some Buzzes that on their own could be quite valuable. But I only get this stuff to put it in my antique mall just to have another thing in there that makes it flashier. And, and I really think it does. When you walk down the aisles of our antique mall and you see those yellow shelves and you get up there and it's like, boom, there's a Toy Story section. Boom, there's a Lego section. That's something I really work hard to maintain. Now, let's talk about video games before we move on to the bag toys. Uh, kind of a lot to talk about here because uh, I was actually able to walk into the store third. We got there almost an hour before they opened to get in line because this is not something we do very often. We've probably done it twice this year. Yeah. Gotten up early enough to get there at open. Maybe a little bit more than that. Maybe three times. But uh, about a year ago, I had that same exact Sabres. We got there at open. I got a PSP, a white Star Wars PSP, uh, Sega Game Gear, and some other games all really cheap because I was the first one in the door. Uh, now this time I was the first, I was the third in the door. There were two older gentlemen in front of me, but they went for the carts and I went straight for the lock boxes. I got there first. I said, "Hey, I'll take all these uh, GameCube games." Now, I was really excited, but also a little bit scared because they were all priced really high. There was a hundred dollar price tag on Paper Mario, and that's actually really reasonable. I think even for not having its manual, the disc is in perfect condition, uh, but there is no manual kind of a bummer i'd really like to have it i'm really getting to the point where some of my best gamecube games don't have their manual because they they show up like this at the thrift uh but there was also several other games there and i said hey i'll take all of them and then i started scanning them and i had all of them but this one mm -hmm. and so i was just gonna buy this and double dash and then andrew came over and he he was gonna buy some of the ones that i wasn't gonna take that he didn't have and then by the end of it i was like well you just take double dash because i already have a copy uh no big deal uh so I only ended up leaving with this, is what I'm trying to get at, when beforehand I had five more <laughs> games in my hand. But pretty much all of the games that were there were priced between 60 and 75% of retail. So then half off, they were, you know, they were pretty good deals, but none of it was really worth just, you know, losing my mind over. Like there was Super Monkey Ball, you know, mm. I think something like a $30 game or something like that. But... This is actually a game I'm just beyond, just, I'm over the moon to have it because I never got to play Paper Mario, any of them. So maybe I can finally start with this one and start running through them. It'll be a good time. Uh, if you'd like to know what the value of the game is, it's going to be a little bit difficult to say exactly, but uh, we can at least look at price charting and get an idea for it. Uh, I looked at it while I was at the store, but I don't think that. I can remember off the top of my head if I just guess. Uh, there you go. So $102 complete. And I paid 50 bucks for it without the manual. So, I mean, that's that's a pretty good deal. It's a little bit better than I would get at a game store. Because even this without the manual at a game store would probably still sit there for 90 bucks. You know, they, would, they wouldn't yeah. take, at least my game stores, maybe yours would be nicer than that. But uh, ours wouldn't take much off. So I'm happy to get that that cheap. Uh, if you look back here... There's two shelves here with GameCube games. This one's two deep. And this one's one. And each each row across is basically 25 games. So there's about 75 games sitting there. Uh, not a terribly large collection when you consider that there's 700 PlayStation 2 games right there. Uh, but I ha I'm way more passionate about collecting some of this GameCube stuff than I am a lot of that stuff. Because anything Mario, I'm going to actually play it. It's just how it goes. So just couldn't be happier. Could not be happier to have found that today. Now, I did not get these at Savers, but like I said earlier, 
Mark brought home a lot of stuff and these were left over so he gave them to me. So Alter Echo demo disc, Crash Nitro Kart demo disc, Red Faction 2 demo disc, a bunch of nonsense demo disc, Cool Borders 2001 uh, demo disc. It only says demo real small right there or not across it. I was confused. I thought this might have actually been like a condensed version of the game or something. Uh, but that's pretty cool. So demo discs are always fun to add to the collection. I finally actually started recording demo discs on my game recording, recording app. So I'm doing even better when we're in game stores and stuff like searching them out. Uh, so I've got to add all that to my game app when we're done with this video. Now these bag toys, I guess we can start with yours. Uh, I found this on the wall and we basically have a blanket rule. As long as the prices aren't too expensive, we're buying all the accessories for brats we can. So let's see if you can tell me anything about this, Hannah. Cause, uh, is that one of the McDonald's ones? No, this is a run of the little brats. So, so this was actually a store bought. Yeah, they did like they did these which are the brats babies right and then they have the little brats which are completely different okay so the little brats are meant to actually be clothed and stuff just like the big ones yeah they, they're just smaller they work the exact same they've got the the weird feet just like regular brat stalls well these are awful <laughs> <laughs> these are a little after my time playing with brat stalls so these aren't exactly like, I'm not exactly nostalgic for these, but these are the first ones I've found with their actual pigtails. Do you have any idea if this is actually like a Bratz puppy? Um, I don't know, but it could very well be. Um, the Bratz babies actually do have a lot of little pets that come with it, too. So, this is, you think this is a Bratz suitcase? Some of it's hard to tell. We have to go looking a lot of this up. Yeah. Some of the accessories say Bratz, some don't. We definitely know these are some Bratz. Bags yeah, and those, stuff. those definitely look like it. This one looks a little big. It does. To be brats, so I feel like that's probably like a Barbie thing. But that's it's pretty awesome. Uh, brats accessories are something we're just kind of throwing in a box right now. Hannah brings home a brat stall that's near complete. We go digging in her accessory box to complete it, and then it goes on the shelf back here. So it's pretty cool. Uh, that was worth a couple bucks we paid for it. Now I have two bags here of. Of awesomeness and I don't try to buy a lot of action figures but the main thing from today these Harry Potter toys I sell so much Harry Potter stuff at the same antique mall that I sell the Toy Story stuff so that stuff's gonna get bagged up I bet it sells really quickly now this bags almost a mystery bag because there's just so much in it I mean is it even got its yeah it's even got its missile now this is not of course the old one that's worth a fortune because it has its missile but it still has a missile and Darth Maul I never find Dragon Ball Z figures so I'm pretty happy about that one you know who this is Hannah uh, I knew who the last one was <laughs> I don't is, know this one this is the Green Goblin from the Tobey Maguire uh, Spider-Man oh, movies William Defoe. yeah 3PO neat Oh yeah, oh yeah, I like that a lot. And then Darth Tater, keychain, I'll probably have to put that in my keychain collection. Uh, 3PO still being worked on, and a Yoda. All right, so that's that bag, couple bucks, had to buy it. Now, I just can't imagine what all is in here because it's all packed in so tight. I think there's not one, but two Professor Quarrels, so Ooh. that's pretty crazy, and they're really nice. Like they're unbelievably nice. Yeah, those are crazy. Very high detail. Can you see Voldemort's head on the? Oh, you can! It flips over. I really didn't expect that to actually be there. Is both of them gonna be that? Like, yeah. Oh yeah, there he is. So creepy. There's Voldy. Okay, Snape. Snape in his robes. Very nice. Gosh, these are so nice. I didn't look up the value on any of them. It's just going to take too much time to do it on this video. But there's Malfoy. A cape. Oh, does that go with Snape, maybe? I'm, I'm not sure, yeah. Looks like it may. Harry Potter ready for his broom. There it is. So I guess he'll probably actually ride that broom. Uh, Some sort of 
potion cannon. I don't know. Harry covered in spider webs. Ooh, neat. Hermione. Oh, yes. Dobby. Malfoy, ready for his broom. Actually, I think that other broom might have been his. It didn't look very Nimbus, did it? Oh, okay, there's Harry on. There's Harry for his broom. There's the Nimbus. That makes way more sense. Man, I, I'm kind of hoping some of these are valuable because I'm, I'm not terribly uh, keen to collect these. Sometimes I want to collect Harry Potter stuff just because we find so much of it. There's a cauldron. And then there's just so many effects. Hello? Hi. Uh, yeah, I don't know. There's some sort of magic missile. Some Harry Potter tokens of sorts. Like the thing from around the ogre's neck maybe. I don't know. Star Wars ship. There's lots of stuff. Oh, there's a dragon hatching. We'll definitely get a... Have, oh, Hagrid's umbrella. Oh. Do you know what I would have done if Hagrid was in there? Done a flip. I'd have, done, I'd have definitely kept that one. I'd have been like, well, I'm a Harry Potter collector now. Uh, well, cool. That's awesome. Which one's your favorite one? Ooh, that's tough. I mean... I'm going to go with Harry on his broom. Yeah, that's probably my favorite. It's so cool. Yeah, the that, fact that the broom was with it, too, like, that's amazing. Yeah, that's really cool. That's really, 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 really cool. Can you pick a favorite one? Um, I mean, I'm super partial to Dobby, but yeah. he kind of looks a little derp. <laughs> yeah, he's a little weird. Not gonna lie. He's got some weird <laughs> stuff going on. Look at, look at his eyeballs. <laughs> Not creepy at all. We need to give him a sock. He'll be happier. And he'll be free. Yes. Well, you guys comment below and let us know what your favorite thing that we brought home today was. It can be our stuff or our friend's stuff. They got some cool stuff. I'm pretty partial to that Howard the Duck shirt. Yeah, that's that, really awesome. Uh, they found that's just that was cool. That's definitely one I need to go look on eBay now and see if they make one of my size because that was nowhere near my size. Uh, but I'm also very thankful to be able to bring home games semi regularly that are as good uh, as Paper Mario. This is honestly a game that I, I when the new one released or they announced the new one a, a while back. As soon as they announced it, I was like, "There's no way I'm ever going to be able to find those old ones and go back and play them." Well, that's not true. I found one. You guys rock. Thanks for hanging out with us. Check out our merch down below. Hannah, give him a little hair shot. Uh, that there's the Trash Panda. And there's plenty of merch down below. I think a lot of people, as soon as we launched our new merch store, were like, could you please add tank tops? I added tank tops today. So if you go click on it and go to the store, there should be some tank tops in there. And they're pretty cool. Uh, another thing, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Help us get to 15,000 subs. We're on our way. And uh, we want to keep making videos like this. We want to keep doing what we're doing. So help us keep doing it by hitting the subscribe button so that you'll get notifications tomorrow when we post another video because we do post videos every day on this channel. Uh, one more thing before we get out of here, maybe check out our Discord. I usually only plug it like once a week. Try to get some of you new folk over there. So if you found anything at the thrift store recently, come over to our Discord. Hashtag your posts with hashtag trash life. If you uh, found this stuff at the thrift store, at the yard sales, at, I don't know what else, in the trash can, literally, um, post it on our Discord, post it on social media with the hashtag Trash Life, and that way when we do our live shows on Sundays at 10 p.m., we're going to start giving away some of this merch to, to some of you guys that are posting that stuff. So, see you on the Discord. If not, see you tomorrow, and until then, peace out.